Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to create very realistic terrain. So, we're going to be changing this map, as you can see here, into something very beautiful and that looks real life and realistic. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the internet and navigate to this website called terrain.party link will be in the description okay so when you go to this website it will open up a map with a square in the center of it with another square in the middle of that this so whatever you put the square over it will take the terrain of that map of that section so you drag it to work whatever bit of terrain in the world you want to take so i'm going to drag it to let's say let's choose spain here and I'm going to drag it over the Madrid. Okay, so put it over the section you want it to do. And then over here in the right hand corner, it shows you how big you can make it, how big you can make the square. And you can go small and big as well. It doesn't matter how big or small you do it, as whatever size um, you set your map to be in here, it will auto scale it to it. So I'm just going to put it at 30. So you want to position it over the section you want to take. So I positioned it here. Then you want to come over and click the download button. What do you want to call this area? Let's just call it um, Lumberyard uh, Video. And um, you could name whatever you want. It doesn't really matter what the name is. So go ahead and click OK. And it will download it. So it will load. It can sometimes take a long time, as you can see here. Uh, it didn't take that long, but um, so you can go click and click save and open. So these are the height maps that you will get. So you first want to extract them. So I'm just going to extract them. So I'm going to extract it to here and select it and then extract. So as you can see here, it has been extracted. When you download this, it will show you five different files. We, however, are only interested in these four here. As you can see, this one here has in brackets merged. This means that it has combined this one, this one, and this one together to produce this file. I find it easier to rename this one to final. Okay, so if you head back to Lumberyard, and we've again, we've got our map here. So. We want to set the max height, so when we import the height map, if there's any mountains in the height map, they won't be too tall. So to do that, you want to go to Tools, Terrain Editor, Modify, Set Terrain Max Height. Then you want to enter the height you want. So because we're doing Madrid, Madrid doesn't have any mountains, so we don't want it to be that high. So I'm going to set it to 100. Just click OK, and the max height has been set. The height map we have downloaded is a PNG. However, to make it better, we want to change it into a dot .tiff. This makes it more accurate and more precise. When we download the height map, it will download it as a PNG. A PNG is good. However, we can make it even more precise by importing it as a dot .tiff, as this will make it more accurate and more precise. So to do that, I'm going to use GIMP, but you can use any image manipulation software. So you want to open it, open the file final.png uh, and it will open it up. Then you want to export it. So file and export as, and we want to export it as a .tiff, so T-I-F. And then you click export and it will add a compression and you can click none and export as a TIFF. If you come over to Tools and then you come and click on Terrain Editor, it will open up this. As you can see here, I've just got my character here with another camera above it. So you want to go File, Import Height Map. You then want to navigate to your location of where you saved your .tiff file. Then you want to click on it and click Open. 
as I said before, when we were choosing how big we should do the square by using this thing over on the side, like 31, 32, Lumber Yard will resize it, as we can see here. So if your map is bigger than 31, 34 kilometers, then it will um, size it to make it bigger. But if it's smaller, it will make it even smaller. So as we see here, the image size is 1081 times 1081, and the height map, so the, the size of the map is 1024 uh, times 1024. So the actual image is bigger than the height map. So when we click the resize button here, Lumber Yard will shrink the picture down and generate the height map. So when we click on the resize button here, you can see here, it will resize it into the correct height map. So you've imported it, so you now want to close it so we can have a look at it. You might spawn underneath the map, but that's fine. You just navigate to the top as before. So as you can see here, we have created a map of Paris, Paris's terrain. As you can see, it looks quite good, but if you wanted to use this in a the game, then you might want to do some smoothing out. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please share it with your friends and give us a thumbs up. We will be releasing more videos in this Lumberyard series, so please subscribe if you want to be notified when we upload another video. Thank you.